Welcome to the free flight capital of southwestern Virginia, Roanoke. We're here in the Blue Ridge Mountains and it's, it's a beautiful day. And I want to take a few minutes to tell you about a, uh, a contest I went to um, in what I call the vacation garden spot of the Midwest. That would be Muncie, Indiana. And uh, Mark Freeland, who owns uh, Retro RC, was there uh, with a new product that I wanted to uh, tell you about. Uh, Mark, with the help of uh, Bob Seifley, developed a new th thermal detector. It's digital with a graph, and it's very, very cool. And I wanted to show you that today. So um, stay tuned, and here we go. I want to share with you a purchase I made from Retro RC. This is a very cool thermal detector with near real-time reading of a graph that shows small fluctuations in air temperature. The thermistor is located at the top of a pole and has a 10-foot cable attached which then connects to the bottom of the housing and the battery is velcroed to the bottom. The graph shows when the temperature peaks within two seconds of real time, indicating a possible thermal. The graph then falls, indicating fill or down air. Once the graph populates the screen from left to right, the display starts again from left to right and runs almost four minutes. The two and three eighths by one and one quarter screen is extremely visible in bright sunlight. It's made of e-paper or electronic paper, which is widely used on e-books like Kindle. You'll see on the left side of the screen, the display shows the air temperature from the thermistor at the top of the pole. Beneath that is the temperature reading from inside the housing, followed by the relative humidity reading and the battery voltage just below that. For the most part, though, you'll be looking at the shape of the graph when identifying a thermal. For more information, please contact Mark Freeland at Retro RC. It's a great unit. I highly recommend it. And um, go see what it's all about.